when it comes to dating exes, what are your opinions on dating somebody else's ex? Okay. And then we're going to jump to the topic of how do you feel about talking to your own ex or after you break up with somebody, what the process is after that. So, I got to charge the camera, so um, you take over. You got to do what now? Charge this camera. You ain't charged it before here? I charged it, like, for, like, ever. Oh, shit. We got... Now we're good. We'll make it work. So, yeah. Is that two bars? Yeah, we're at two. So... So, Okay. All right. So, um... First start when I was in dating your friend's ex or... So, when I was in college... You should be able to. What the rules are behind it. Let me go. So, when I was in college, um... My boy was dating this girl. And... My boy, he's the type of dude that he could have pulled some bad bitches if he wanted to. Oh, but yeah, you say he like ugly bitches. He did. So, uh, the type of chicks he would go after would be chicks that aren't very attractive, right? And yeah, the great personalities. So. All of us, all of the, like, all of our friends, <laughs> our, our circle was, like, always confused. Like, yeah, what are you doing, son? <laughs> because it would always be these bad chicks who would be into him. And he would just, like, curve them for the ugly chick. Like, <laughs> he the type of nigga that he'd walk into the club... These bad bitches walk up to me. He was like, nah, bitch. Get the fuck out the way. I know what I want. So, I, mm, I want that bitch by the garbage can. <laughs> Eating them banana peels. <laughs> it's so fun. Mm. Banana peel? Uh, banana peel, you bitch. Come here. <laughs> so In the club. <laughs> Are you eating the banana peel? Not the banana. Nah, not son. Banana. She know what you're doing. <laughs> I, it's calcium and these. Extra potassium and these fucking banana peels. You see that brown part right there? You got to mm. eat around that. You got to make sure that the yellow right. part is right. That vitamin, what? vitamin D and that shit. So this nigga, um, he was the type of dude that would always, at the time, he was going for a lot of uh, girls that weren't attractive, right? So they weren't attractive to you, <laughs> to a lot of people, uh, to the really. masses. <laughs> so anyway, so he, um, he was dating this chick, and uh, she wasn't very attractive, but she, all, she, we were all dorming at the time. He was my, he was my suite mate, meaning that it was two rooms in a, in a, um, in a dorm. I was in one room, he was in the other room. So we didn't have roommates. We weren't roommates with each other, but we were in the same suite. Anyway, so he, this chick ended up like moving in. She was there all the time. So a lot of times when I'm like, I was, uh, I was like getting myself ready, washing my face or whatever in the sink, she would like say there. say things like often. It was like say shit. I always thought it was a joke, and then but like she, one day she was like, oh, okay, so Malcolm, let's talk, like. I'm sorry, let's what? She said, let's fuck. Okay. And I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> you, you wild, son. You wild. And she said, no, I'm dead ass. Like, um, like, so, like you want to fuck? And I'm like, Yo, she what said, the she said, she said, look at me. <laughs> I'm the captain. I, like, if you saw her, you would think that's her voice. <laughs> so, so she's like, yo, let's fuck. And I'm like, whoa, what? And so I'm thinking that it was a joke, but when she said it again, I'm like, okay, no, she's not joking. And she's like, no, I'm dead, I'm dead ass. And I'm like, okay, I just didn't, I don't even remember what I said, but I was like, okay, no, fuck, like, whoa, no. No, 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 no. What we're not going to do is we're not going to fuck, so. So that was, that was, um, that was the instance, right? So pretty much, um, I did not fuck his girl, even though she offered it to me Good because man. whatever. But would I mess with my friend's exes? Most likely no, probably no. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that. Why is that? Because I don't know. I think that's crossing the line. Mm. Depends. Like it, it depends on the situation. Because if if you're dealing with like one of your close, like this this is an ex that you was really in love with, and then this, you know what I'm saying, then she was talking to your boy. It could be a situation of she's trying to get back at you at some way. It could be some spite there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be the guy that's adding fuel to that fire. Because you're my boy, you're my man. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to step on no toes because there's a lot of women out here saying no to one or two is not going to hurt me. It's not going to kill me. You know what I'm saying? So am I that, I'm I'm just that type of guy. I'm not going to I'm not going to step on no toes. I'm not going to get into no bullshit. I'm not going to add fuel to no fires. So if my boy exes try to fuck with me and whatever, no, I'm cool for that. Um, unless it's like some dude that I'm like just associated with. You know what I'm saying? Just an associate or like, this is like, oh, like 10 years old type of thing. And he just literally tells me he don't care. Then it's like, okay, maybe the rules may change. You know what I'm saying? But it depends on their relationship. I would do it. You would? Yep. So you might look at me a different like, uh, I mean, <laughs> I want to go all the way and be like, yeah, I'll fuck the shit out of my boy's ex. But no, it, like you said, it's, it depends on the situation or it depends on the type of relationship that they had in the beginning. Um, if it's just a thing where they, they might have talked for like a few months and nothing serious came out of it, then mm -hmm. I don't have an issue 
fucking another uh, dude's chick. Do you feel like? Or not. Do you feel like um you owe it to your boy to tell him or talk to him about it at least? No, not if it's if they're not if they weren't that serious and he, he she might have just been like. A but how do you know if it, if it was that serious? Well, like, if that's my boy, then he would tell me, obviously. But what if it was like something that okay, um. If he didn't tell, or if he doesn't tell me, if he doesn't. But know, he, but if he doesn't know that you're, yeah, that in that to her exactly. That yeah, so how is, how would you know? Um, so I'd probably yeah, I would just go up. It depends on how how fine the chick is. If the chick is fine, <laughs> look. If the chick is fine, she got a fat ass and mm. she saying all the right words. I might slide up in there. <laughs> I I'm a dirty That's dog. Funny. I'm a dirty dog. I'm a dirty dog. So yeah. I might slide up in there just because like. Eh, then what am I exit DM you? Why? Then what am I exit DM you? Uh, yeah, but it wasn't all nothing sexual. No, oh. I forgot what it was about. Yeah, it was. It wasn't nothing sexual. Um, but no. If oh if wait, remember that? Where, okay, remember shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If it's a situation like that, and the chick was fired, but right. you just wasn't either you hit it and then you wasn't feeling her anymore. Yeah, that's then different. That's different. Would jump into because like that. yeah, because for one. I think that for one, most boys they talk about their shit anyway. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying. Like, cause even even you, you've asked me about if I smashed a certain girl that you was into. And I've told you about all the chicks recently. That I, yeah, you know about all the chicks that I've dealt with or that I'm been dealing with. And all of them. What? Yeah, I've only been dealing with like three of them. You know, you know all about all, all Tinder, three of them. Tinderoni, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't know about Tinder yet because I don't know if it's official yet. So <laughs> shut your ass up. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I mean, all right. So you feel like it's okay, all all is fair. Um, and she's fire. Not only that, but it's also a thing where if my boy has moved on to a to a happier situation, if he's happily settled down or with a with a woman in a relationship at that point in time, I feel like I shouldn't have to discuss it with you that I'm talking to one of the exes. If you are dealing with your situation, you shouldn't be thinking about your ex. So that gives me time to think about your ex and give her some work. For a few minutes, or or yeah, for a few minutes. And for then, a few minutes. Yeah. So how would you feel and if then, um? Well, do nothing. How would you feel if one of your boys was was talking to Patterson? Um. So I'd be disrespected. One because right. One, Vi- a violation. That like I said, it's a it's a situation where okay. she because if you know me and you know Patterson, then you know the situation or the the stuff that we've been through. So. It's different. We've been closer than that. Mm. Like, me and her have been through a lot of shit. Um, also, I wouldn't like it because I know that she'd be giving that fire dome to somebody else, and that's the only <laughs> thing. That's, <laughs> that's the only thing that makes me upset of thinking about my ex being with somebody else is that her, I don't know, just like. Word. You a don't never want like that shit that thing. that shit that gone between y'all to be going on between somebody else. That's but, all you think about. Oh my yeah, god, she buy her. Fucking that nigga. If you no, honestly, that shit. honestly, if you, I really hope you're not listening to this shit. But it's no refunds podcast. If you just bang in the bang, then I honestly don't mind. But if she give you head, then that's some other shit. Cause her dome was 